Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Teacher Raven and you're here at Teacher Raven Vlogs. So this is the part 11 of the verb series and the sixth one under the tense aspect system. So if you haven't watched the other videos for the verb series and those also under the tense aspect system, you could check this i button here so that you'll be directed to those videos. Okay? So I hope that you will learn something from this video. Welcome everyone. This is Language Talks. Just like what I said in the introduction, we will talk about the sixth video under the tense aspect system. So this is the future perfect. Okay, so again, we will use the chart of the tense aspect system and we will focus on the future perfect. So what is the future perfect? The future perfect, again, using the timeline, can be found here before the specific future time. Okay, so remember um, to always um, remember the aspect or that perfect aspect they always come before that specific period of, of time so for present it comes before the present for past perfect it comes before that specific point of the past and for future it comes before that specific point in the future okay so what exactly is the future perfect so future perfect is an action in the future that will have been completed before another time or event in the future just like what i said a while ago okay and as you can see here we have the example by the time i smile he will have smiled too okay so meaning before this by the time i smile this is where the by the time i smile happens Okay, and then this one, he will have smiled too. And this is that he will smi have smiled too. Meaning, this is the future perfect. It should happen first before that specific period of time in the future. Okay, now we have this structure or formula for the future perfect. This sentence we have, he will have smiled. We have the formula will have plus the past participle form of the verb okay so again regardless of its uh, regularity and irregularity just like your um, had in the past uh, perfect we have will have both for regular and irregular verbs now we also have core meanings for the future perfect what are these core meanings the first one is a future action that will be completed prior to a specific future time. So we have, I will have finished all these chores by 5 p.m. So for example, you are um, talking about this um, occurrence or this future happening or this prediction around 1 p.m. or 1 in the afternoon. So this prediction, so I will have finished future action that will be completed prior to a specific future time. So meaning before 5 p.m., okay, or by the time the clock strikes at 5 in the afternoon, you have finished all those chores, okay? And then we have... A state or accomplishment that will be completed in the future prior to some other future time or event so in this example we have at the end of this pandemic experts will have created an effective cure so again will have created this is your future perfect meaning this should happen first okay and then this at the end of this pandemic is found here in this specific future time so meaning this creation of the effective cure will happen first or should be done first before this happen 
months. Okay? So that is your future perfect. And that is the last one for the perfects. Now, I would like to also um, remind everyone that the past and the future perfects are not usually seen in conversations, in written outputs, because you could actually substitute the past and the future perfects with just using your simple past and your simple future. So, um, actually, uh, for some grammarians, uh, the past perfect and the future perfect aspects are not anymore that important to be understood or to be learned. However, of course, for us to still know them, to still know their essence in the English grammar, we have to still understand them. And that is the essence of language talks. I hope that you learned something from this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell for you to be updated on the future videos. And of course, don't forget to share this to your friends and family so they could also learn something from this video. Thank you everyone. Class dismissed.